Typhoon Mankut was unrelenting. The strongest storm in the world this year barreled through Hong Kong. Leaving some places looking as though they had been bulldozed and ransacked. Oh look, our rooftop flying away. And my violin. Hong Kong Island's iconic skyline is usually visible from Kowloon. Despite wind gusts of over 230 kilometers an hour, a few storm enthusiasts defied the government's plea to stay inside. On the northeastern coast of Hong Kong Island in Siu Sai Wan, flood water turned this football pitch into a pond. <laughs> In the beachside village of Sheko, massive waves flooded the streets. Floodwaters also swept through the main street on Lama, one of Hong Kong's outlying islands. The Hong Kong Observatory issued a number 10 signal, the highest on its typhoon alert scale on Sunday morning, and later decided it would remain in effect all afternoon. The storm wreaked havoc. Nearly 900 flights were delayed or cancelled. Public transport was paralysed as bus, train and ferry services ground to a halt. Late on Sunday, Hong Kong's Education Bureau closed all schools for Monday. It wasn't just people who were affected by the typhoon. A roof blew off one of the huts at this dog shelter in the New Territories, near the border with China, leaving the puppies inside exposed. They were quickly moved to other huts and all 339 dogs are now safe. With the worst of the storm having passed through the city, Hong Kongers are getting ready for the next challenge, cleaning up after the storm's chaos.